What's up guys, I'm Joel Dodge. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I wanna to tell you guys why I've started using an iPad exclusively in my home studio. Let's get into it. So guys, I'm definitely gonna do my best to keep this a short, condensed video, but I also want you guys to understand like what led me to deciding this was the best option for me. In 2018, somebody introduced me to the app Bias Amps. I tried it out and I ended up just getting hooked. A little while after that, I discovered Bias FX. After trying out Bias FX for just a few weeks, I realized I was okay with completely converting over to using that as my board. When I converted over, like I didn't miss my real board at all because of how much easier it made everything to just bring my phone and a Bluetooth controller to play electric guitar. It was awesome. That was my first introduction. And I think that was important for me because it helped me realize like how powerful making music on an iOS device actually is. Fast forward to 2019, I made a commitment to myself to start going to the studio more. So I started scheduling a studio session at least once a week with a producer that I work with. The other thing that I decided I wanted to do early 2019 is start this YouTube channel. So because of that, I started practicing editing videos on my computers. Neither one of those computers was very good at video editing. So when I was trying to export the videos I would make or trying to upload them to YouTube, it would literally take hours. And, um, and not to mention how frustrating it was just to work, just trying to edit the video in the program, like whatever I was using. Around that time is when I came across Henny the Business. And if you ever seen his videos, he does like so much stuff with his iPads, it's ridiculous. He makes his videos, he does his music production on an iPad. He's awesome. So when I saw his videos, it really turned me on to the idea of doing my video editing on an iPad. What I didn't realize at the time when I bought it for video editing was that I was also gonna to begin to make music on it. Partially because of any of the business, but also because of other people that I came across on YouTube. I just started to realize that you could do so much more than just video editing on the iPad. I, I went and got Cubasis 2 and I started doing some home recordings on there, also using GarageBand. And it just became obvious to me really quickly that it was so much easier of a workflow for me to be able to touch the screen and be able to move things around either with my fingers or the Apple Pencil. It was a no brainer. And then when you combine that with how much cheaper it is to buy software and plugins and stuff like that on the iPad, um, I just completely converted everything over to that. And I haven't regretted it. I've been doing it for the past um, like seven to eight months. And something I just wanna say for those of you who might be skeptical of changing over to recording on an iPad from your home. You can use almost all of the same gear that you use on your computer with your iPad. So for me, I use my Focusrite interface still. And when I wanna get better tracks, I use my studio channel going through it. What's also really cool is just because a track starts, just because you start a song on the iPad, doesn't mean you have to finish it on the iPad. What I did with this whole last EP is actually exported the stems and sent those to my producer and he mixed and mastered everything. And so all I really did was just record those tracks on my iPad. Not that you can't do more than that, but for those of you, maybe you're like me and you're a singer songwriter or you just play guitar or something like that. And you just want to be able to start music projects in a way that's easy for you to interact with. I think the iPad really could be a good option for you and it's going to save you a lot of money in the long run because of how much cheaper the software is and the plugins and stuff like that that you're going to be using with the iPad. So guys, let me know if you've started using the iPad or maybe this is something you've been thinking about. Um, I would love to hear what you guys are thinking in the comments down below. But as always, die empty. I'll catch you in the next one.